Hey boys and girls, so we have been talking about writing realistic fiction and the other day I had you create a character or two and we read the book um, Whistle for Willie. So we've talked a lot about thinking of ideas to write about our realistic fiction story and today we're going to pick an idea from our brainstorming map, that map that you did um, the other day, that bubble map, and we're going to zoom in until we find the perfect story. So I am going to show you how we can zoom in on a story or an idea by reading this story called The Snowy Day. Now, what is this whole story about? The author chose a small seed story. And we talked a little bit about small seeds at the beginning of the year, how we have this giant watermelon and our watermelon is our day and each seed in the watermelon is part of our day or a story that we can tell. So we're going to do that when we write. We're going to pick a seed and we're going to write just about that seed and not about multiple things. So let's read this story and see how this is a seed story. Now this is a series. Remember I said I was going to read another story about this little boy? This is another story with the same character from Monday. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Crunch, 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 his feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. He walked with his toys, toes pointing in like that. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks, and he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. Any guesses what that new track might be? It was a stick. A stick that was just right for smacking the snow-covered tree. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. So he made a smiling snowman and made angels. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great big tall heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went in his warm house. What do you think's going to happen to that little snowball? He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought and thought and thought about them. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. What happened to that snowball? While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall, and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. So, did this story talk about multiple things or one thing? Yeah, it talked about one thing. The day he woke up and there was snow, and it talked about what he did in the snow. It didn't talk about what he had for breakfast or lunch, and it didn't talk about what he wanted for his birthday. It was just one thing. So now that we have, or we know what a seed story is, I want you to think about a way that your character that you created could get hurt. 
So lots of times there's a problem in the story. And so my character in my story got hurt. Raise your hand if you've ever been hurt before. We could write about so much, but we want to zoom in to one time or one injury that we've had. We've learned about seed stories and watermelon stories um, when we were doing our personal narratives. So remember, watermelon stories are big and seed stories are small. Realistic fiction stories need to have seed stories, just one moment in time. So you are going to pick a seed story from your brainstorming sheet and you're going to think about an injury. And I want you to zoom into your seed story and think about what you're going to write. So I am thinking I'm going to write about my character falling off of her bike and getting hurt. Before I start writing, I'm going to think about everything that happened, all of the details, how fast my character was going, how my character felt, and where my character was. So to think about all of those things, I have this planning sheet for you. So you are going to write the character or maybe your character is with somebody else when they get hurt. And you're going to write all of those characters in. You can just write their names because you know who they are. It's your story. Then you're going to write where the setting is. Where is your character going to be at in the story? The problem is your injury, so you're going to write what happens, what the problem is, and then your solution. How is your character going to get help? How are they going to feel better? What's going to happen to fix that problem? So today you're mapping out everything. You're thinking about the character you developed the other day, and then you're adding the setting. Where are they going to be? You're creating that injury or that problem, and then you're going to find the solution. So today we're going to just map it out. We're writing out all of our ideas, and then next we're going to put it together in a writing. But just today you're doing this.